Hey, welcome to another episode of Gardening Friends and I'm your host Scott and today we're going to work on a miniature hydroponic for one plant only. It's kind of like the big one I did but it's a very very small version, okay? So here's the thing we're going to need. We have that that uh, little basket that we need we needed before with some pebbles on it. These are like lava rocks or you can f we use uh, fish tank rocks you can use anything that will hold you know okay uh, we'll need a roll of paper for decorating our can if you choose to do so and for this we're gonna use an old-fashioned metal can uh, it's a coffee can with a plastic cover I already circled the hole where my basket is gonna fit right in so that's what we're going to use. Uh, of course you're going to need scissors to cut out the can, right? And last but not least, we're going to use our air pump, you know, fish fish tank air pump with a little bar for that makes bubbles that we're going to put in the can so the plant always gets oxygen. All right, so let's get started on that. Okay, first we're going to cut out our ring, okay? Okay, I made a hole in my cover. My little basket here with my pebbles is going to sit right in like this. Uh, there we go, look at that. Okay, the, the neat thing about this is uh, this can here only holds about what? A couple liters of water. Once a week, you are going to change the water so it doesn't get too acidy for your plants. And we're just going to add like one teaspoon or a half a teaspoon of miracle Grow in here, which will give it the nutrients that the plant needs, okay? If you choose to decorate your can, I use paper like that. It's a great little thing. I also use this paper to make my uh, paper cups to plant in. Then you can have uh, your kids draw them here too, you know, to make it, uh, you know, to decorate your can the way you like it. So basically we just uh, put this around, tape it, and uh, you got a nice can that doesn't look like a coffee can. Alright, so next, okay, we're going to put some water in here. I'll be right back. Here's the coffee can, and I got water. So. When you put in the basket, the water is only going to come to like about a half an inch in the bottom of the basket. And there we go. Look at that. Now we're just going to make a little hole right here so we can put our hose in. I took my basket out and you can see the marking, the water marking. So I know it's about almost an inch, three quarters of an inch. That's pretty good. Here's my miracle Grow, and I looked at the instructions. And it said for about two liters of water in here, I need to put about like a teaspoon. So make sure you read your instructions on your miracle Grow because they might be different. And put about a teaspoon in here. There we go. Probably a good idea to stir it. So now we're gonna make that little bitsy putsy hole in my can lid. To make a hole for my uh, oxygen, I'm gonna use a drill. So, you know, it's a pretty tight fit. Uh, it might still be a little tight, but it's better to have it tight than not tight enough. Oh yeah, fits perfect. This, this hose is about six feet. I don't need six feet. I only need about a foot because it's the pumps gonna be right beside the can Okay, now that we have our can over here All we need to do is uh, actually find something and uh, Plant but you know what? I'm not going to Home Depot. Remember last week? I told you we can find plenty of things outside for free And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. You want to come with me? We'll go find some Okay, you see that little plant there? It looks like a spider plant right there. That's what we're gonna take, okay, for this little project. Of course, I don't have my trowel. I couldn't find my trowel. But we're just gonna use 
whatever I have here. Okay, so this is what we have. Just a little bitsy, little bitsy plant. So let's get rid of all this dirt and put it in my hydroponic. First, we're gonna roll it a little bit to loosen it up. Okay. So now what we're just gonna do, let the water take care of the whole thing. We don't want dirt. All we want is nice white roots. Okay, so here's what we got. We got a little ball of, of roots with our little plant. Okay, so let's go plant this little bad boy. Okay, here what I'm going to do is I just wash my pebbles. Okay, they're all nice and clean. I'm going to just put, I don't know, a half an inch of pebbles on the bottom here. Okay. We're going to sit it right there. We're going to take our plant, put it like so, and just put, start putting pebbles all around. Make sure you cover all the roots. There we go. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? Okay, now let's uh, install our oxygen in our can. Okay, now since we want the pump real close, we don't need much of much of the hose at all. So I'm just gonna cut about a foot and a half because we really don't need more than that for this little can. There we go. Now we're going to pass this through our, our, our lid, okay, then under the lid we're going to put our filter on to the pump, right, so everything goes inside the water. There we go. So now it just goes right in like this and, and that's it. Now, look at that. How cool is that? Um, that's all there is to it. Here's the plug. We just plug this in. If you want to see the inside, I can show you. Here, let's look at the inside. What's happening? So it's got miracle Grow in there. Just about a teaspoon and about two liters of water. Uh, I'm going to raise my light and turn on my lights and put that under the lights. And uh, it's going to be my little garage plant. I'll be right back. Okay, well I put my paper cover on it and I tape my hose. See how nice it looks? Let's take a closer look. Look at that. I set my light right over it. So, and there's the pump right behind there, as you can see. Very clean. So, now all I gotta do is turn on the light here. Now it's got real sunlight. Those fluorescent lights are made for their grow lights, so you can pick them up at the Home Depot for pretty cheap. A couple of them, 15 bucks or something, they last forever. So there you have it. I have a little hydroponic as small as a coffee can. How cool is that? Cost of this thing is barely nothing, just a fish pump which you can pick up at Walmart for 10 bucks. You can't get it any cheaper than that. Well guys, that was my idea for this week. And uh, if you like this segment, well, just write me a little note. Tell me what you think. Hey, it's free, you got a free plan. I got, you know, like, why not? So if I don't try it, I'll never know, right? And we're gonna see what happens in a couple of weeks. All right guys, until then, we'll catch you on my next video, bye.